So welcome back. I still regularly hear that folk think that it's cheaper to run a diesel vehicle than it is to run an electric vehicle. Is that true? Yes and no. Let me explain why. I recently drove 1,347 and a half miles down south. I went to Everything Electric in Yorkshire, Harrogate. I then went over to Grimsby to visit my energy. I'll put a link above my head. I also then went down to Leicestershire to visit family and friends, drove around there for a few days and then drove back up to Abington and then from Abington back to Scrabster on a single charge. Watch that video. Basically, how much did it cost? And this is what I'm going to tell you now. Interestingly, there was a wide variation in public charging costs, which is nothing new, basically. So just very quickly, it ranged from GridServe at 79p a kilowatt hour to Apple Green at 72, MFG at 75p per kilowatt hour. Cheapest was Tesla on their supercharger network. Now they've opened up lots of sites for non-Teslas. So I charged my e-Nero up on the Tesla supercharger and that was just 42p, which interestingly enough, if you go at a different time of day, it's even cheaper. But I went midday, it was 42p, which is the cheapest out of all of them. Like I've said, I did 1,347 and a half miles. I averaged five miles per kilowatt hour, because this e Nero is awesome. Uh, that equates to 269 kilowatt hours of energy. At a grand total cost, public charging, the most expensive public charging total cost was £156.69. pence. Oh my word, that's a lot of money, JP, to do 1,300 miles. Let's convert that into diesel costs and see what sort of equivalent figure we arrive at. Now, at time of recording, and this will change because that's what oil prices do, at time of recording, June 2024, diesel is £1.52 a litre. Now there is 4.5 litres to one gallon. So one gallon of dinosaur juice is £6.84. Now if we take that £156 I spent on EV charging, and if I spent £156 on diesel, that would have bought me, at £6.84 a gallon, that would have bought me 22.9 gallons. But let's be generous, 23 gallons is what? £156 would have bought me. Divide 23 gallons into the miles I did, 1,347 and a half, let's take it 1,347 miles, divided by 23 gallons, we arrive at 58.58 equivalent miles per gallon. Okay, so if I'd have used a diesel car, I would have had to have averaged 60 miles to the gallon. So, so far, the cost using public rapid chargers, without fussing about who's the cheapest, just pulling up at a rapid, plugging in, getting on my way, the equivalent is around 60 to the gallon in a diesel. Now, you'll have to have a nice warm diesel engine, particulate filter's got to be nice and warm and toasty, for you to get around 60, perhaps even 70 miles to the gallon out of a modern diesel engine. So using the most expensive rapid charger, the most expensive electricity, it still works out at around 60 miles to the gallon in a diesel car. So there you go, Porterfield. It's no point me buying an electric vehicle because it's just cheaper with diesel. Hang on a minute. The great thing about EVs is you can pick when you want to fill up your car. You can pick the price. Well, what do I mean? Well, basically, most of the time, I'm going to say 90% of the time, I charge up here from solar for free. OK, I've installed solar panels and I've got storage batteries. But in essence, I can charge at zero cost for the fuel in the car. You cannot dig your own well in your back garden and start refining crude oil to make it into diesel. It's not yet viable. It's a bit expensive, a bit dirty, and I think you'd need quite a bit of permission. Oh, it's okay for you, Porterfield, with your fancy solar panels. You know, what about us that can't afford solar? True, I get that, I hear you. But how about switching to a cheaper 
overnight tariff such as Octopus Energy and the EV Go tariff, which is what I've got. I'll put a link in now and also in the description if you want a referral. So basically, if you want to sign up with Octopus with my referral, you get £50 credit, I get £50 credit. But genuinely, Octopus are an amazing company to deal with. They just talk in plain English, easy to understand the electricity, and if you still use it, gas pricing as well. Now, even without solar, if I was to charge on my cheap overnight EV tariff, which at the moment here on Orkney is 9p a kilowatt hour, between 12.30 a.m. and 4.30 a.m. in the morning. If I was to fill my EV to do those 1,347 miles, the cost wouldn't have been £156, would have been £24. Okay, £24 to do 1,300 miles using cheap rate overnight electricity. So I've got choice. Now you tell me, where can you go in the UK, in fact anywhere on the planet, to get a saving like that when you buy your fossil fuel? You can't, because you poor folk are shackled to the powerful oil companies. It's all about choice. Now, when I pull up to a services and I use GridServe, Apple Green, MFG or even Tesla superchargers, I don't mind paying... 79p or 42p as long as the rapid works and I've always said it's a bit like stopping at the services and going to your favorite coffee provider in this case this is my wife's Starbucks mug now she'll go in and she'll ask for some flocky mocha cappuccino with sprinkles on top and I've just asked her apparently it's £3.84 for her favorite coffee in a reusable mug. Now she doesn't get to the queue and say, do you know what? I can make that for 10 pence at home. I'm not paying you nearly four pounds for my favorite coffee. No, of course you don't. You're there, you're enjoying the coffee and basically you're happy to pay for the convenience. And that's what it's like with rapid charges. I don't want to shop around for a cheaper price. I don't want to moan about the cost. Okay. Electricity prices have come down. The retail price has come down for these big uh, conglomerates, these big organisations like GridServe and Apple Green and MFG. But they're not ripping us off. Let me tell you why. The installation costs for fitting a rapid charge. I think last time I checked, a rapid charge is about £35,000, £40,000. And then you've got the installation cost and then another massive cost is the improvement of the grid connectivity to that particular site. Now, if you want multi-rapids, 10, 12 rapid chargers, you've got to have a pretty hefty cable in the ground to supply that energy and to improve the infrastructure around that rapid charger site. Tremendous cost. These rapid charge providers, they're not rolling in money. They're looking at a future payback, perhaps five, 10 years time. They're looking to the future. So let's not balk at paying 79p. As long as it works, I don't care. I really don't. Because most of the time I'm here at home. Anyway, bit of a rant, but I thought you'd like to know the total cost I had to pay to drive 1,347 miles. Now, if you want to see that drive, when I drove from Abington back up to Scrabster, watch that video. And if you'd like to watch the video when I went to see my energy, and in particular Jordan, the CEO, watch that video.